In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice with arcs in circles. In example A, it says, find the measure of arc AB. So we're trying to find the measure of that arc and the measure of arc ADB. So that's the major arc, the big arc that connects A to B in circle C. All right, so what we're given right here is that this angle is 102 degrees. And remember that that angle that's at the center is called a central angle. And the central angle is always the same measure as the arc that it intercepts. So that means that the measure of arc AB, which is the arc intercepted by that angle, is also 102 degrees. So that's the first part. Now the other thing that you need to know is that a full circle is 360 degrees all the way around. So that means that the minor arc, AB, plus the major arc, ADB, must equal 360 degrees. So if AB is already 102, to get the measure of arc ADB, what we can do is 360 minus 102. And that gives us 258 degrees. So the measure of arc AB equals 102 degrees, and the measure of arc ADB equals 258 degrees. In example B, it says, find the measures of the minor arcs in the circles A. EB is a diameter. Okay, so if EB is a diameter, it means it's a straight line that goes all the way across and cuts the circle in half as far as angles go. Each half of the circle will have to be 180 degrees because the full circle is 360 degrees and 360 divided by two is 180. So if this angle right here is 60 degrees, it means this angle must be 120 degrees because they have to add up to 180. So that helps us out by giving us two of the minor arcs. We know that arc EF must be 120 degrees, and also arc FB is 60 degrees. So now we have three arcs left to go. And the other half of the circle, we already know this is 52 degrees, and this is a right angle, so it's 90 degrees. So that means that arc CB equals 52 degrees and arc DC equals 90 degrees. So the last thing to figure out is arc ED. And again, we can use the idea that half the circle is 180 degrees. So 52 plus 90 plus this arc right here has to equal 180 degrees. So we can do 180 minus 90 minus 52 in order to figure out that missing angle. And we get 38 degrees. So that means the missing angle and the missing arc that goes along with it, arc ED, is 38 degrees. If we wanted to check if we were right, we could double check that all of these angles our measurements add up to 360 since we just talked about the whole circle which should equal 360 altogether. In example C we're looking at the same picture and asked to find a few other things. Find the measures of the indicated arcs in circle A and again EB is a diameter. So we're first asked to find the measure of arc FED. So let's figure out where that is in the circle. FED, you just want to follow it around, the three letters, and there we go. So FED is a combination of both arc FE and then arc ED. So if we want to figure that out, all we have to do is add up the 120 degrees plus the 38 degrees to get 158 degrees. We're going to do the same thing for CDF. So CDF is C... D, F. So we have three parts to this. We have our 90 degree right angle plus 38 plus 120. 
which is 248 degrees. And finally, the measure of arc DFC, which is DFC. So that's the whole circle except for this angle right here, which is a 90 degree angle. A quicker way to do this besides adding up 38 plus 120 plus 60 plus 52 would be to just do 360, the whole circle, minus the 90 degrees that we're not including to get our answer of 270 degrees.